Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We're back with our Let's Play of Man of Medan. This is part nine. When we last left off, we, um... Well, we fucked up another huge point, which is... We had to grab the rebreather, and then we had to hide from uh, the main bad guy, the one with the messed up eye. And we had to hide from him, and... Oh god, what am I trying to say? We had to hide from him, so we keep this rebreather because there's the other guy. The one that we hit with the bottle at the beginning of the game, and we could have saved him, but we didn't. Because we fucked up the fucking timing thing. And, um, yeah. But anyway, so, they went back to Alex. Alex and Fliss, just, I just hid from this guy. He has the distributor cap. We're gonna try to get it back. I saw the, so we get the, the fuck the out guy. of here. Get the distributor cap. There's the curator back there. Olson, that's his name. Okay. This must have been what we just heard. I guess he could not come off the hinges just because it's an old ship and it's rusted. Oh. Does it matter? We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to go come this way. Here. <sighs> oh, there's crap. the fucking the mist. Look at that shit. Look at what shit? He dropped the sledge. That's good. That is good. He just drops the distributor cap and just smashes it with the sledge. <laughs> Says, God damn! Oh, he's dead. Oh, shit. I'm not going to make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. He's right down this way. So, just need to keep in mind that everything we see is not real. Okay. Saw that ghosty. Hey, he couldn't have gone very far. Of course, but they will restrict your movement around the plant, so it may prove difficult to look for Jones. Your primary objective is clear, but your secondary objective when you reach your destination is to locate Jones and his men and get him back home. You must be vigilant and be con very concerned with your sa personal safety at all times. Your country's behind you. No, oh, okay. I guess I should have just read for back first, huh? Military intelligence, uh, Harold Tom Walter, military intelligence has indicated that Sergeant Jones and five of his platoon have gone missing during a reconnaissance mission at the water purification plant. Our men in the field have been unable to make contact and the situation there is grave. It is not known if they've been captured or if they are alive, only that their last known position was approaching the plant when they went silent. The plant has high security. They're expecting you, of course. Okay. Yeah, it should definitely have read it the other way. Alright, secret fucking mission. That's cool, I guess. Uh oh. Oh, how already? Oh, he's hallucinating. Fuck. There ain't no way rats just immediately were like, hey, let's eat this motherfucker. Oh, they're on the distributor cap. 
Look at that. Sometimes you just get lucky. Except for the fact that the, wow, these rats are carnivorous, aren't they? They're gonna try to fucking kill me. No shit. So get the fuck out of here, rats. What the fuck? Get off me, you bastards! Alex, will you just get out of there already? God damn it. <laughs> Oh god, come on. They're everywhere, man! They're just climbing up the walls and... Oh no. No, no, no knife, man. Just go. Nope. Not doing it. Bewildered. What? Who are you? That's the most terrifying thing in the world. Nope. Not doing it. I'll stab the rat. Hey. There we go. It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. That's it, fellas. I think we just beat the game. Maybe, uh, unless we have to. Yeah, that's it. Damn, yeah, but I know it was gonna be that quick. I would have just ended it on part eight. That's fine. We can watch the credits and whatnot. And it would have been a perfect ending had we not fucked up with Conrad. We made it out with four people, four out of five, and a successful escape, by the way. I'll run over some of the other e endings you could have gotten. Conrad was running from something. He was really scared, like terrified. I, I, I don't know why. I couldn't see what he was seeing. He was an asshole. Honey <laughs> meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, always meant well. It's just a big old puppy dog. Just trying to make everyone laugh. <laughs> okay. And now... So, um, found this. Conrad. 
All because I decided to hide instead of run. I went against the thing I always do because I was like, hey, let's change it up. Ah! Alright, so... Oh, actually, I think Homeboy's gonna talk. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Mm hmm Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Yep, Little Hope's the next one, baby. I think we have to wait till after the credits. Want to spare me over to so, there was, um... Won't you spare me over to Oh, that's so distracting. We'll just Won't watch it. Yeah, that's fucking annoying year. too. Won't you spare me over till another year? Won't you spare me over till another year? Annoying, annoying, annoying. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought he was dead. Oh, hey, the military showed up. So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real-life ghost ship here. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> I just saw someone in the woods. Whoever it was, they're gone. Going to okay, very good. Who's there? I fashioned her with my own hand. <laughs> And that will be the next one, people. So anyway, so about the endings to the game. So uh, there's the last time me uh, we did the first episode of Let's Complete was Man of Medan. It was me and Trey. We we played it. Um, we destroyed the distributor cap. We killed Julia. Uh, I feel like we killed someone else. Yeah, it was down to just Alex and Fliss. Um, so we weren't able to do the radio. We weren't able to turn the power back on. Um, Fliss got in her boat and just kind of sailed off. 
And at the end, by the time he saw her again, like on the boat, her skin was burned raw, like her lips. She looked like she was dying of thirst. And she was just kind of sailing off into the abyss, basically. Um, Alex went back into the ship and lost his mind. So it was a brutal fucking ending. Uh, if you call the military and say you don't get the distributor cap, you stay at the, the the ship and the military shows up, then you're basically taken in and you're probably never going home because you're on a military ship, saw government secrets, they probably suicided you. Um, and like I said before, if you don't do the decompression at the beginning of the game when you're uh, playing as Julia, she will die of uh, the bends right at the end of the game. Um... I, I think those are the only endings I've seen. I believe. I've never gotten everybody alive. I've always lost one person. It was usually actually Alex. So during the part where you're getting chased by his twin, if you pick up the knife in the kitchen, you can die on that part. I don't think you can die uh, otherwise. But uh, yeah, he gets pulled in. They slit his throat. It, it was one of the premonitions we saw. And also, uh, I, I missed it, um, um, apparently. You also always get... Towards the end of the game, you get a premonition from that's going to be in the next game. We did not get it this time. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that Let's Play of Man of Medan. It is a great game. I think it really kicked off this whole uh, anthology series very well. It was not as well received. Um, I think Little Hope was actually just as little, well, well uh, as less received as this one. Um, you'll understand why. I, I'm trying my hardest not to spoil them. Uh, it does come back with House of Ash. That is regarded as, like, the best one. And then the one I just absolutely do not like is The Devil in Me. But who knows? Maybe once I, I've only played it once. I beat it one time. I was like, fuck this game. It's stupid. So uh, we'll try again. But anyway, um, the next one will be Little Hope. So I hope you guys are prepared for that. Till next time. Peace. <laughs>